of four of us saying that we are bringing down the government. Now in this climate, for a member of parliament to be doing that, it's reprehensible. And I have not heard any parliamentarian condemn it. And they are sending out, they are parliamentarians sending out WhatsApp notes of all sorts of reprehensible things. And I hope that somebody will take the leadership to correct them. We on the commission, we are committed to doing what the legislation permits us to do. That is what is happening. And it is not fair for the employees to be set in a stage where they can be set upon. So I trust that folks will realize that the reports that we send from the Integrity Commission, they are reports of facts. There are factual statements in the reports. Of course, there are recommendations attached to the reports which the law allows. The law says that the Director of Investigation may make recommendations. The recommendations that are made uh, the Parliament needs, need not follow them. In fact, the Parliament in Jamaica has a history of recommendations being made by people who make reports, Commission of Inquiry, and the, the recommendations are ignored. So we understand that. And we should not really have a situation where we are being pilloried for doing what the legislation allows. Now, in relation to this annual report, Mr. Chairman, it was dispatched to the Parliament in late June. The letter that I signed sending, sending it is dated the 24th of June. And I did notice that no sooner than the annual report left the offices of the, the Integrity Commission. No sooner than it left the offices, there were public broadcasts of it before it was tabled. And I noticed that it happened also with another report that was sent subsequently, and another report that was sent last week. Now, if if it is thought that anyone in the commission is leaking these reports, we would like it brought to our attention, we would like it investigated, because anybody in the commission who leaks, if it's an employee, instant dismissal. But I find it strange that it should, that all these things would be leaked immediately after it leaves the Commission and sent to Parliament. I find it puzzling to understand if it is happening from the Commission, why is it that it is delayed, the leak is delayed until, um, until it is sent away from the office. I cast no aspersions, but I want to add a personal note, Mr. Chairman, if you'll allow me, that back on this question of malice, I have been a lay preacher in the Methodist Church for decades. Malice is not in my makeup, and it is not in the makeup of the commissioners. And there may be persons who need to repent and they can join me at church providence methodist any sunday i don't know if 
something is wrong with the water in Parliament, why some people, the moment they get into Parliament, they say certain things and behave a certain way. I don't know if that is it. As a result, I decided this, that I wasn't going to take the chance of drinking any water here. Another feature, Mr. Chairman, which I'm very serious about, is that I, because of what has been happening, I personally intend to see if I can meet with Senator Longmore, doctor, to have a word with her, because it may well be that she needs to have a word with some members of the House. And so I present to you, Mr. Chairman, the sixth annual report, which has been compiled in keeping with the law. The law, sorry, um, Mr. Chairman, not to interrupt you and the flow of your eloquence and indeed the wonderful parliamentary theatrics that we saw a while ago with the holy water which you brought. But a member is showing an interest in making, no. I'm sorry then, 